Expressway shooting shutting down portions of the Dan Ryan for hours. Now it's a scene we've seen over and over again more than a dozen times alone this year and even if you never drive you're touched by these senseless crimes because you're paying for them to be investigated. Here's CBS 2 investigator Dorothy Tucker. Chances are you don't know the driver who was shot in the back on the Eisenhower Expressway last weekend. He was among the victims wounded or killed in the 19 shootings on Chicago area expressways since the beginning of the year. We've reported on the loss of life in the grieving families left behind. It was just a normal Monday yesterday and now she's gone. Every time there's a shooting, Illinois State Police send out press releases like these, detailing the place, time, and noting the ongoing investigation. We wanted to know how much do we, the taxpayers, spend on these investigations, so we chose six weeks, from the Christmas holiday through Valentine's Day, and added up the cost. There were six shootings, two on the Dan Bryan, two on I-57 on the same day, one on the Eisenhower, and one on the Kennedy. In each incident, state troopers are the first to respond, flooding the scene, blocking traffic. Their man hours and overtime added up to $18,000. Investigators, the bosses who make more money, are next on the scene. For just those six shootings, taxpayers paid $45,000. The crime scene investigators who process the scene, take photos and collect evidence, rounded out the personnel, adding another $3,100. Altogether, for just six shootings in only six weeks, Taxpayers spent $66,901. Since Valentine's Day, we've had another 14 expressway shootings. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. If you do the math, based on the average cost of $11,000 with 14 shootings since Valentine's Day, the expressway shootings have cost taxpayers another $154,000.